Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to change eye color <coughs> using Photoshop CS3. I'm using Photoshop CS3, you could use CS2 or any previous version of Photoshop. So first open Photoshop and choose a picture that you want to change the eye color of. Now I chose this picture off of Google and it's a pretty good picture to use as an example because her full eye is showing and that's what we really want. So each time you start using Photoshop, you should always push Control, hold Control, and push A, C, and V on your on your keyboard. This will make a new layer identical to the background. So you can work on this layer, but if you ever screw up, you can just delete the layer, and the background will be there as the original picture. So you could start all over again without really screwing the picture up itself. Okay, so now you have to zoom up on the eye. I'm pushing Control and Alt and scrolling my mouse wheel to zoom up on her eye and uh, it'll get pretty big on her eye okay that's that's big enough okay now there's two ways of approaching this one is to use the magnetic lasso tool which is right here just hold hold on hold down on that and uh, click magnetic lasso tool and now you could click anywhere on this eye and start moving your mouse around the eye and Photoshop will outline the eye for you. Except if you're doing a perfect circle it's better to use this tool which is the elliptical marque tool because it helps us make really nice circles. So I'm going to use this one for this video. So I'm going to make a circle just as big as her eye. And I'm doing this by estimate. Okay now I'm going to move this lens over her eye directly over it okay now to change the color go to image adjustments hue slash saturation right here okay and uh, this window should pop up now by changing the values of this window you should be able to change the color of the eye so let's take a look mm, there we go you have a whole range of values so you could pretty much have any color you really want negative 180 and positive 180 seem to be the same so everything is in between that okay since it's a kind of scary picture I'm gonna use positive 180 saturation you can change these values too and that's how saturated the colors are it's a negative 100 is totally no color at all so I'm going to keep this to about, say, positive 51. M m uh, okay, and lightness, change the values. Well, you didn't, that's not very effective. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep my lightness to zero. Okay, now you should write these values down because you want to do the same to the other eye and you want to have the exact same values because you want the exact same color for both eyes. So I'm just going to memorize this. Top one's positive 180, positive 51, and 0. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hold Control and Alt, and I'm going to scroll on my mouse wheel to zoom out. And there you go, you change the eye color. Now let's do the other picture. I'm going to the other eye. Okay, and we'll do the same way we did the first eye. I'm going to use this tool again, draw a circle, and then move it directly over her eye. I like to use, uh, I like to leave a little bit of black around the eye, just for an outline. It makes the picture a lot more effective. So go image, adjustments, and hue slash saturation. And now you could either slide the bar against to change the values or you could just punch them in. So I remember my first one was positive 180. Saturation, I think it was positive 51. And lightness was zero. Okay, now I just click OK. And zoom out again. You successfully changed the eye color. I'm just push Control D to deselect that and you change the eye color. Maybe I left a little bit too much of a black outline but that's pretty much the basics. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my videos. You'll learn a lot more different cool computer tricks and thank you to those who have already subscribed. Thanks for watching.